I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on limits. Here is an example of application of limits where we will see how to make a piecewise function continuous. The question here is find the value of constant k so that the function f of x is continuous. f of x is equal to 1 minus cos 2x divided by x square where x is not equal to 0 and it is equals to k when x equals to 0. Possible values of k are one of these 0, 1, 2 or pi. You can always pause the video and answer this question. Uh, now to solve it we need to understand few trigonometric identities related with double angles. So let me begin with that so that it becomes easy for all to understand. Uh, you remember the formula what is cos a plus b equals to? That is equals to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. So that's the compound angle formula. If I write b equals to a, then I could also write this as cos of 2a. So what I've done here is that I've replaced b with a. So I've written b equals to a. So it becomes a double angle, right? So 2a. So that gives you an idea how we get 2x. So this becomes cos of a and b is a. So it becomes cos a again minus sine a sine a. So that is to say it is cos square a minus sine square a. In our case we want cos 2x and uh, we know one thing that is what we know here is that uh, as far as the limit goes we know when limit x approaches 0 then sine of let's say, theta, uh, let me say x only now sin x over x is equal to 1. So we know this part. So looking into this, it's a good idea to write this in terms of sine function, right? So if I want to write this in sine, what should I do? So what we have here is cos 2a equals to cos square a minus sine square a. I could write cos square a as 1 minus sine square a, right? A bit of trigonometry you should be good at. So that is 1 minus 2 sine square a. So this is a very standard formula. Since we have 1 minus cos 2x, we can rearrange this. And rearranging gives us 2 sine square a equals to 1 minus cos 2a. Perfect. So we kind of derived... Uh, relation between the numerator of this question to sine function right so we could use this to solve now let's get back to the concept of continuity now this particular function 1 minus cos 2x over x square is discontinuous at x equals to 0 right now if I somehow manage to get this k value same as the limit of this function as it approaches 0 then it can become continuous right so the concept here is that the limit when x approaches 0 for 1 minus cos 2x over x square should become k for this function to be continuous. Is that okay? So that is the condition for the function to be continuous. Now, we have already seen that 1 minus cos 2x can be written as 2 sine square x, right? So we could write this as limit x approaches 0 of the numerator being 2 sine square x over x square and that should be equal to k. So that is the value of k which we are trying to find. Is that clear? 
Now, we know this particular formula right there. So if I could write this in this form, it's simple to find the limit. We are going to use this formula. So we'll rearrange. So we could write this as limit x approaches 0. So I could take away 2 is a constant. So we could take away 2 outside. So I've taken that outside. And inside, I'm writing this as sine x over x whole square. That should be equal to k. Now, limit of sine x over x is we know 1. So now we could write this as 2. Limit x approaches 0 for sine x over x whole square. That should be the value of k. This is 1. So we get that the k value should be 2 clear so that is how we should be doing it so we get our answer as c so i hope the steps are clear now if you really know or you're fresh in your mind i know you know but you should be very fresh in your mind about these formulas then this question can be solved in no time so if it is a multiple choice question it shouldn't take a lot of time so i hope the steps are absolutely clear Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you really like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.